welcome to my channel skip try or buy so for today's review I have the 14 day freestyle libre continuous glucose monitoring kit before I get into it I just want to put the disclaimer that I'm not a medical doctor so I'm not providing advice however I am giving you my personal review of this glucose monitoring kit so let's talk a little bit about the kit so the kit is for people who have either type 1 or type 2 diabetes you can use it if you uh, take insulin medication or if you're just on maintenance for diabetes what this kit allows you to do is reduce the number of finger sticks that you have to do each day and that's important to say because it doesn't mean you don't have to do finger sticks at all because according to the manufacturer anytime you're using your number to make a decision about whether you should give yourself more insulin take more medication you'll need to do a finger stick as a backup now luckily the actual monitor that comes with this right here this is also a blood glucose monitoring kit so you can buy the, the sticks to do blood glucose monitoring with this as well so before I get into it let me just mention that this is not a blood glucose monitoring kit it actually uh, measures interstitial fluid in your arm so it's a little different than blood glucose it should still give you a fairly accurate number but that's why the manufacturer uh, requires that if you're going to do anything that uh, requires medication that you definitely do a blood glucose finger stick first. So let's talk about what actually comes in the kit. You're gonna get the monitor, you're gonna get the actual sensor itself which is gonna go into your arm, you're gonna get an instruction booklet, you get an applicator, and this is just the container that the, man, uh, that the actual needle part comes in and you'll just open this up and take that out. I'll show you how in a minute. And this is the box. And of course, it comes with plenty of instructions on how to place it. So speaking of instructions, let me just, um, I don't know if you can see this picture here, but currently the Freestyle Libre, there's only one, there are only two places really you can put it at this time. And that is on the back of your arm. So you can put it on the back of this arm or you can put it on the back of this arm. So for those of you that may be familiar with the Dexcom, um, continuous glucose monitoring system there are more places that you can actually put that what I do want to mention while I'm talking about this is I'm a type 2 diabetic and I don't take insulin so the things that I'm telling you in my review may vary a little bit different for you if you are a type 1 or if you do take insulin so please keep that in mind so first thing to know I have here a sensor and this is a 14 day sensor they also have a 10 day sensor but I do believe they may be moving away from that um, because they sent me a, an email to upgrade to the 14 so that's why I have the 14 separately you get the monitor so you'll buy the monitor once and then you'll have to purchase sensors basically every 14 days now some of this may be covered by your insurance it may not be I've seen prices kind of all over the place so I'll just talk about my particular price the actual monitor is about $70 and again that's a one-time cost you can actually use I think they say if you have an iPhone 7 or above you can use your iPhone um, to, to scan your arm too so you don't necessarily need a, uh, a monitor then the sensors themselves I pay about $37.99 I know some people pay $50 a piece um, this is important because as you'll see when I show you when I put it on, I've actually had some of these sensors come off. So I have a 14 day sensor and it comes off on day two. That's almost $40 out the window for me. So I'm going to show you what I do to kind of prevent that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is show you how I do this. The first thing I do is actually go ahead and get my applicator ready. So that once the alcohol is dried on my arm, I can go ahead and put it on. So here's the applicator like I mentioned earlier and here this is actually where the needle is. Now I know some people are like I didn't think it had a needle. It does have a needle in it. The needle will go into your arm one time and then it'll leave a filament in there and that filament continues to process the fluid so that you can get your glucose reading. So I'm going to open the applicator and you'll hear it click open and this is what the applicator looks like. You see? Now one of what you may see here is there's no needle in here yet, right? So this is where the needle is. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the applicator into the needle. You have to line it up with these, this little slat here and this slat down here. So I'm just going to line that up. And when it's lined up, you press it in and it'll click down. See? 
Okay, so now that it's clipped down, it's ready for me to take out to use. Now, can you see how there's now a needle in it? You see the needle? All right, so before you go ahead and just put this in your arm, you really need to make sure that you clean your arm off with alcohol. And the reason this is extremely important you want to make sure that you clean your arm off with the alcohol. And this is very important because you don't want this thing to fall off. Again, like I mentioned earlier, $40 out of the window. So you get two alcohol wipes. You can put it on either arm. I'm just going to put mine on this arm just because I choose to that. The first thing you do is you just go and you're going to wipe down the area that you put in on your arm. So just wipe that off. You can use both. Um, alcohol wipes if you want or just one depending. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use both of them because I have both of them. Why not, right? So, just wiping that area off. Now I'm going to want to let it air dry. For those of you in the healthcare industry, you know you let it air dry. You don't blow on it. So we're just going to let it air dry. And then once it's dry, all I'm going to do is take this, I'm going to press it up against my skin and then push it in. And that will leave the actual sensor on my arm. So I'll show you that. So you see my arm right here. The alcohol is dried. I probably shouldn't have touched it, but the alcohol is dry. So now I'm just going to take this and depending on where you want to put it, again, it has to be on the back side of your arm. You just place it here and all I'm going to do is push it in. You hear the click? That means that it's in. So now I can pull the applicator away and you see the sensor is on my arm. Now, what I do is I just press around the sensor to make sure that it's in there really well. And so now that it's up there, I'm gonna show you what else I do. So as I mentioned earlier, I've had these things fall off before. And at $40, pop, $40 a pop, I can't have that happen. So, uh, the manufacturer suggests, and I have my personal opinion on this, uh, that you use something else to kind of cover it up to keep it from coming off. So, I use a Next Care bandage. So, these are like the Tegaderm bandages that you get like in the hospital and stuff like that when you have like, a, if they're putting in an IV or stuff like that. So, they work really well. Um, they are kind of expensive, but this is what I use to help it stay up there. I've had them. I've had these scissors come off when I was laying in bed. I've had, I walked into a door with my arm once and it came off. You know, because honestly, and this is important for me to mention, you don't feel it, which is a good thing. So you're not really thinking about it. Um, and, you know, you hit your arm and little things happen. I will say that I have called the company before and they sent me out uh, another one to replace the one um, that fell off. So now I'm just going to take my uh, little bandage here. Now sometimes I have my husband do this because I really can't see where the middle is, but I'm going to guess at it for today. That didn't feel right. That feels good enough. So all I do is I put this bandage around it and this just acts as a secondary hold to keep the sensor from coming off. So now I'm just pulling it off. And you can wear this in the pool. You can wear it in the shower. It's supposed to last for 14 days. So you see it's up here. So now that I have the sensor on, we get the monitor. So I'm going to turn the monitor on. And the first thing it says is to scan to check my glucose. Now I'm going to scan it, but it's going to recognize this is a new sensor. So when I scan it, you see how it says a new sensor has been found? Can you see that? So whenever you have a new sensor, if you have the 14 day, you actually have to read it and wait one hour for it to warm up before you can actually start doing your regular scans. Now, I suggest you do a scan at least once every eight hours because after eight hours, the data rolls over and starts new again. So if you want to really see continuously what you get in a 24 hour period in terms of your readings, you're going to want to make sure to scan it at least once every eight hours. I'm going to tell you when you first get it, you're going to be scanning every five minutes because for those of us that know about the finger pricks, this is really exciting because it's so easy to get my glucose number. So um, it asked me if I want to start a new sensor. I'm going to click yes. And this is a touch um, machine. So 
it says here if I want to start a new sensor then I need to scan it so all I do is come over here and I scan it you hear that beep let me know it's been scanned and then it tells me I've got 60 minutes for it to warm up and once it's warmed up I can start doing regular scans so that's it I mean that's basically how you put it on it should last for 14 days you scan it um, again if you're using it because you take insulin you need to make sure to do a uh, a blood stick if you need to uh, determine how much insulin you need or any type of medical decision you're going to make from it, uh, you'll want to make sure that you double check it with um, blood glucose. So I have had this for, I would say probably six to eight months. And I started off with the 10 day and now I have the 14 day. So I'll talk a First of all, let me talk about things I love about it. So I love, love, love that I don't have to pick my finger as often. But I'll be honest with you, I wasn't the best diabetic because I really just wasn't pricking my finger. I would probably do a finger prick once, maybe twice a day at most. But what this has allowed me to do is really basically see where my highs and my lows are and keep track. And when I take it to my endocrinologist, she's able to see what's going on and make recommendations off of that. So for that very reason, I love this product in that I can see more than just an A1C number. You know, an A1C is supposed to be a three month look back to how your blood sugars have been running and that's great to see hey I'm in control not in control whatever but it doesn't tell you when you're having your highs and you're having your lows so for example you could be somebody who's having your lows mainly at night so your blood your A1C may come out and look great but if you find out you're having highs during the days and lows during the night you're really not controlled so I love the fact that this helps me to see exactly what my trend what my pattern looks like now, one of the things I don't like, and I mentioned earlier, is that it comes off. And so in order for me to keep that from happening, I have to put an extra bandage on it. I don't think for $40 a pop, I should have to put an additional bandage on it. I think we need to figure out a better way to get this to stay on my arm. Even if it means that along with the Libre, I'm, I get bandages to put on with it. That's fine. You'll see a whole bunch of different bandages all over Amazon and everywhere that you can buy. But I feel some kind of way about that. I'm already paying $40 for a sensor. I don't feel like I should have to pay additional money to keep it on. <laughs> Overall, what do I think about this and how would I rate this? I'm going to rate this a try. And I know that may sound a little shocking because you're like, hey, I thought this was going to be a buy automatically. Well, this is why I don't necessarily say it's a buy. I think it's an expensive system. And I understand not all insurance companies cover it. So the prices I mentioned to you earlier were with my insurance covering it. Without it, it would be much more expensive. And honestly, and I'm not trying to get on a soapbox here, I do not understand why more insurance companies do not cover it. I feel like this is helpful and for me it's helped me to manage my diabetes a lot better. So I say try it mainly because of the cost. I just think it's expensive and everybody may not be able to afford it. Um, I also say try it because I feel like if you are a type 1 diabetes, and remember I'm not a doctor, but if you're type 1, I almost think the Dexcom from what I've heard and the people I know who have it may be better for you because not only is it continuously monitoring you, but I know that it can alarm and help you make uh, decisions about whether you need to take insulin. So that was my review of the 14 day freestyle Libre system. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it interesting. If there are any other products you would like me to review, please put them down in the comment section. Also, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks.